Piles like this of old and used plastics discarded are a common sight in many communities, especially urban areas. Yet the nature of plastic is typically synthetic or semi-synthetic, derived from petrochemicals and is not biodegradable. However, Musei Karuhanga Emmanuel of Kaichumu sub-county in Kiruhura district has found an alternative for the ever-increasing plastic that had been piling up in his community. With more people drinking water and sodas bottled in plastic, the waste increased in the neighborhood and Musei Karuhanga started collecting them to make slabs and tiles. <laughs> He puts all the collected plastic into this metallic container that is mounted onto these bricks. He then starts the fire using wood as his source of fuel which then burns the plastics. He keeps on stirring the plastic the entire time so that it is all fully melted. <laughs> He then adds crushed rock particles to the melted plastic, creating a black material that looks like tar. It is then that he picks his troughs that are measured to a specific size and he lubricates them with oil. <laughs> He then pours the mixture into the trough while it's still hot and levels it to create a uniform surface. <laughs> <laughs> After 15 minutes of air drying the mixture, the end result is the slab and tiles that can be used in construction. Musei Karuhanga sells them to schools and people constructing houses around the village. But because he burns a polymer, which releases plumes of toxic fallout, carbon monoxide and dioxins, he causes pollution in the area and is yet to find a solution for it because he relies on basic knowledge. This initiative started off initially as a one-man idea that has since spread out to the entire community. Now what it has done is that the community has come together and they have collected lots of the plastic that has cleaned up the environment. On the other hand, the gentleman has managed to make some good money off the products that he makes. Kreka Doda, NTV.